Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, it's a brand new week and this week, I'm going to call it, at least for the first three videos of this week, big week. I'm going to be tackling models which are oversized, absolutely massive in size. I'm going to do that on the back of the Partwork Awards which took place yesterday, thank you to Kevin the Nexus over on his uh, YouTube channel, if you didn't see that, I've got the link up there, but I won two awards in that, and it's all thanks to you peeps in the community uh, for voting for me. Absolutely chuffed with that and completely humbled. I, I didn't actually realise I had won because I was actually travelling back from picking my kiddies up, so uh, I couldn't really get a vi video signal. I only knew I'd won because of what was said in the text, so uh, I will watch that on demand today uh, to check that out. But today, starting big week, <laughs> we're going to be doing the next three stages of the 1-6 scale Ford Mustang from Diagostini Collectibles. <laughs> Now I haven't seen this for a while and it's only three stages in this box. So we are doing stages six to eight. I think we are doing some of the chairs today as well. Now if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description and there's also a QR code on the screen that you can scan. It will take straight to the Diego CD Collectibles site. They'll know you've come from the World of Wayne YouTube channel. But I'm going to jump straight into this without further ado. Let's get cracking. <laughs> So here we go, this is stage six, and this is the magazine. Each stage does come with its own magazine, and we are doing the seat here, as you can see. You're gonna see how big this is. I will be using my head quite a lot to show you scale, because it's the only thing that I can think of, which is a good uh, idea of scale for this build. It is a oversized build, this one six scale. And I do have stage six in this bag here. So if you've done one eight vehicles in the past, you will know the rough sort of size of what these seats actually going to be. Well, these are ginormous. And again, I said I'm going to hold it up against my head. As a matter of fact, it's pretty much the side of my palm on my hand. So if you hold out your hand in front of you, that will give you an idea of how big these seats actually are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the seat base, which is this rubbery material here. And I've got the frame to go in. Now the frame is just going to follow the pattern that we've got here. So it's just a case of pushing that in and down just like this making sure that's nice and flush in there and I've got these two pieces of frame now to put on so let's get these out these are plastic chrome and they are stamped so this one's got an L on it which means it's going to be going on this side here and it's just a case of pushing these lugs into the hole so one and two and push that down like that do the same on the other side with the right hand side one which is stamped with an R uh, get that pushed down. You probably noticed I've got my grotty finger marks on it. So I do have a cloth I can just tidy that up with here. So that's those frame pieces in place. And that's what it should look like when we turn it over. Now in the previous stage, I don't know if you saw the last pack, we had this part of the seat that we've done with this lovely bit of real sponge. I said this is the kind of sponge you actually find in a real car here. We need that because we're going to be putting that onto the back of this frame just here. So again, this is just going to be pushing in. We've got a locating lug at the top there, just like this. That leaves us with these two parts here, and that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage seven, let's uh, look through the magazine. Again, we're working on the underside of the seat. Check this out, I love the little springs that we've got here. That's detail for you. We're actually gonna be piecing all of these together by the look of it. So we are gonna have a finished seat, even with the levers at the bottom to make it go uh, forwards and backwards in there, looking just like that. And again, this is the rest of the magazine. That's very clever, I like that. What did they say? The uh, the devil's in the detail. That's the word. Can't get my words out on Monday morning. Devil's in the decal. Once again, we've got this authentic rubbery sponge type material here. So I'm just going to put all that to one side because we are actually going to piece the two parts of seats that we've created now together. So we do have some anchor points in here. They are in different locations, as you can see. One's here, one's slightly offset. This is just going to be going in here like this and if you look underneath you can see what i mean about that offset there now i'm holding that with my finger for the underside and i'm going to take this rubber material and that's just going to sit 
into that area like that. It is sort of like a ramp. So the thinner part of the ramp goes towards the back. And then over the top of this, we're going to be putting these springs and that's going to hold everything in place just like this. You do want to make sure that the front comes in like this. Clip it into place. And that looks perfect in there. And it's just a case of now screwing this down. Now they give us some PS14 screws in this build, which are the black screws. They're just gonna go into the four holes here, 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 and here. Get these in. So I've put the two back screws in here. Let's just do the two front ones. Again, they're going through these large holes. You can see on the top camera there. They should go in nice and tight, one more. And there you go, that's in place. Now that seat can move backwards and forwards like that. Now on the two holes that we've got this side, I've got the seat lever here, which is just a push to fit. So we've got lugs going in here, one and two. Just push that into place. And there we go, we've got the seat lever in there, I like that. And on the other side here, I've got this bit of trim here, which is just gonna hide the screw holes. These lugs are different sizes. You do have a thick one, so the thick one goes towards the back. Let me just line that up. And the thinner one to the front. So that looks just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So in the last stage for this pack, this is stage eight, just turning to the instructions. We're gonna start the left door interior panel here. So I've got the whole panel to put together. So again, this is looking like this. I will try and show you what I mean about size with this one as well. And here is the rest of the magazine. Excellent. So this is how big the door panel is. And this is pretty much the size of my whole hand, okay? It does come with its own detail. As you see the door lock there. So uh, we're gonna be adding some detail to this. So the first bit of detail we've got is this chrome tr trim here. It's got some pegs on this side going into the holes just here. So let's line them up. Two on this side, two on this side here. And that's that bit of trim in like that. Now that trim is gonna be held in with four screws just into these hold he holes here. Now these are tiny screws. These are the PS12 screws. Now, even though they're self-tapping tiny screws, and they have got points just down the end, uh, you should still be able to use a PH0 screwdriver to get these in. So, got four of these to put in, two at the top, two at the bottom. Because we are going into plastic, and because these are self-tapping, you really don't want to over-tighten them. So as soon as you start feeling resistance, stop. And the trim is now fully in place. Now I wanna take this door panel compartment here and the door handle. That's gonna drop into this section just here like that. Now we're gonna be keeping that into place with a flange screw. That's this one here, which is a PS11. Again, when you put this in, ensure it's straight. And the whole idea of this is just to keep that into place, but still be able to move like you can see there. So then what we're gonna do is take that handle, make sure it's in this position like that, slot it under the hole there, so then the door panel can fit in there just like that. Now I am gonna hold that down. I just wanna make sure that this operates though, as you can see there. And I'm holding that in with these PS05 screws. They come in this stage as well. Let's just line that up. Perfect. Two of these. This is the second one just going in here and I'll just tighten them both up. Once again, I will check that that handle is free to operate there. Perfect. That's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. Now, even though this is a really big model, we're building some really big parts, wasn't so big with the amount of stuff that we had to do. So uh, I'm surprised we only have three stages. I don't know what we actually get in each pack. I, I thought it would be like four and five. Perhaps it's just because it started that we're only getting three stages at the moment. But we have started the door trim and I do love the cushions inside this uh, seat. Absolutely brilliant. Once again, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description and there's also a QR code on the screen. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.